Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban RB 3721 Chromance sunglasses. But first, I'll thank today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 59 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge, and these are the standard and only size of these sunglasses that Ray-Ban currently produces these frames in, but they do have the these spring hinges so are going to bend out and give a custom fit to basically anybody's face right out of the box, which is really nice. And for me, this size would be definitely the one that I would choose. I wouldn't want a larger or a smaller lens size. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I have on today's video, these have Ray-Ban's polished black on gold fronts. And then the lens color is their blue gold lenses. Uh, mostly what I see when I look at these lenses, I see a lot of gold mirror, uh, but there is just a little bit of blue under tones in there as well, which adds a really cool kind of contrast. So here on the inside, we can see it is completely gold. And then here on the front, we can see it is nice and black with just a little gold uh, metal Ray-Ban accent there in the outside temple of the frames. Now the fronts of these frames are made out of that metal material, which is very solid and strong. It has a single bridge, but it feels very, very bulky and strong there. And then the temples are actually made out of Ray-Ban's light force material, which is extremely strong, but very lightweight, but it does have a little bit of bend to it as well. I really do like their light force material is very, very nice. And they also do have a gripping material here at the end of the ear rest as well, which is just going to help the sunglasses uh, stick behind the ear and not slide off the face very easily. They also have fully adjustable nose rests. You can actually bend these out and give them a custom fit to the face. And if we look through them, we can see a little RB logo there for authentication purposes. Now moving up from the nose rest to the inside temple, we can see it says 5917, which of course stands for the dimensions of these frames. Now if we take a look here at the inner right temple of frames, they say Ray-Ban Light Force Polarized, and then they also say Made in China there on the inner right ear rest. Uh, and it's super sloppy as you can see, it's kind of crooked and doesn't look really good at all. However, Ray-Ban made this material extremely easy to remove. So all you have to do is kind of use your fingernail and just kind of move back and forth on it. and it's going to be completely removed and undamaged once it's removed. Uh, so it almost seems like Ray-Ban is hoping that uh, the Made in China logo is going to wear off after wearing them for a couple of days or maybe a couple of months because they're not necessarily proud of these frames being made in China. But definitely something that's really interesting to note, the other text on the uh, temple is not easy to remove, and that's probably because it's not on that rubberized material, it's actually on the frame. Now if we take a closer look at the front of the frames, we can see a little Ray-Ban logo there, and then a P after that. The P, of course, stands for polarized, because these have Ray-Ban's uh, polarized uh, chromance lenses, and then here in the bottom left of the lens, we can see it does say chromance, and then in the middle left, we can see an etched RB logo, also there for authentication purposes. So there's definitely a lot of logo Googling on the lenses, but nothing too crazy. I do like how the text here is gold, so it kind of blends in with the uh, gold mirror on the lens, so it's not too loud or anything like that. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames are pretty lightweight, coming in at 33 grams. Uh, so you can wear these frames all day long without really any discomfort, and they do have that nice grip, like I said, so they're gonna feel really good behind the ear. And uh, now, as far as the lens quality goes, these are really high quality polarized lenses. They're going to block 100% of UVA and UVA. UVB rays, and they also are going to block 99.9% .9 of glare as well, which is really nice when wearing these at the beach or in high glare situations. Now the lens material here is Ray-Ban's polycarbonate lenses, so these are not an all-glass lens. So they're going to be much more prone to scratching than an all-glass lens is going to be, but they're also going to have better shadow resistance uh, than an all-glass lens as well. So definitely some pros and cons there, and they're also going to be more light than an all-glass lens. Now this pair of frames is part of Ray-Ban's Ben's light force frames, which are kind of performance driven. Uh, so of course they're gonna have those polymer lenses instead of all glass lenses in them. Now overall, I think it's a really cool looking pair of frames. I really do like uh, the looks of them and the build quality here is really good. Even though they are made in China, I really don't see any uh, flaws in the build quality of these frames. Everything here is just really nice and manufactured very well. Uh, the black painting looks really nice as well because they painted the gold frame uh, with black there and it just looks really nice, uh, no overspray, just clean cut, 
and uh, nice welds here as well, nice nose rest. Everything here is just really nice, and I am actually very impressed uh, with how nice these frames are. As far as price goes, these frames are going to run you $268, which is definitely a very expensive uh, price to pay. For example, a handmade in Italy pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers with polarized lenses are going to run you $230. Now keep in mind, those are not Chromance polarized lenses, they're just regular polarized lenses. But yeah, these frames are still significantly more expensive than those, and these are made in China. Now again, the build quality of this particular pair of frames is just as good as the Italian ones, in my opinion. I don't really see any flaws. However, we do know that the labor rates in China are significantly, significantly cheaper uh, than Italian ones, so that means that the profit margin on these uh, Chinese ones, even if they are uh, just as good build quality, is going to be significantly, significantly higher than the Italian ones. So I would just like a little bit of a price discount for the uh, made in it. So, so personally, so personally, I would just like a little bit of a price discount if they are made in China. It just kind of makes sense to me. But again, the build quality here seems to be just as good as the Italian made ones. So I guess they're assuming uh, why not charge these full price even though they're making a lot more money on each pair that's made in China. Now these frames come in a couple of different colorways and I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to Ray-Ban's website if you're interested in checking out these sunglasses in this colorway or any other colorways that they sell. Make sure to check out their website linked in the description down below. But that's that's all guys in this video. Let me know what you think about this pair of sunglasses in the comment section down below. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think about the uh, kind of high price for these? But that's all guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.